Hello everybody and this is Hina. Welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to show you how you can you easily create a simple smoky vector effect by using Adobe Illustrator. So let's start now. First of all, I am creating a new document that is uh, around 960 into 560 uh, pixels wide actually uh, actually points wide i'm using it but i want to convert into the pixels so i want to use this i want 560 yes and now what i'm going to do i will use the rgb uh, color mod for, for this uh, design for this effects and uh, um, i will use the 100 percent 300 ppi for uh, resolution now what you have to do, first of all, you can create a simple background layer that would be white or you can keep it in a dark blue. I want to make a dark, very blue, just a blackish blue color, just like this. And now I'm going to press Control 2 to lock the layers. So you can unlock it from by using by coming from here. Okay, so now what you need to do, you just need to create a simple like this like this and simple different because we want to create a different layers of smokes that's why we are creating all these four rectangles so now i'm going to select these rectangles before selecting these rectangles what i want to do i want to select this one and press a as a direct selection tool and now i will I will bring it here and now I will click here and now I will press to smooth the layers options just like this and uh, here I am control C control V I am copying this layer and I want to place this layer here okay so what I will do next I will take the I will select each and everything and now I will use the mesh tool mesh tool is here you can also press U to invoke your mesh tool and now you can create different layers like this just click on a point different point in a shape you can roughly select points because we want to create a you, you can imagine a smoke that is roughly or you can say random points that has been selected to create a specific effect so i'm just selecting a random uh, values uh, random points so what i'm going to do i will invoke my switch panel and now i want to make it a void like this and then i want to create a smoke here 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 and just like this now so i have selected all these things now what i'm going to do i will go into the window and then transparency now click a screen from here and if you want to create a little uh, opacity i want to go for the 80 percent okay so what i will do next now the next step is very important now what i'm going to do i will just select the shift r to invoke my web tool so web is here so what you can do you can just come over here and your web tool and you can define the width and height of the points i want to use in a very big way so you can also use the same format you can play with this and it will I'm just creating a simple structure like this simply create deform all these shapes just like this to create illusion of simple smoke okay so what I'm going to do next I will just reduce all these two size of these layers just like this and now I want to make it simple like 
again now going to the effect stylize and then go to feather preview and you can just see, see like this now what i'm going to do i will go into the effect and blur tool gaussian blur i am using and you can see so what would be the next step next step is to uh, is to combine these layers with each other just like this simply create move it around and combine it simple in this format now press ctrl c ctrl v to multiply these layers format simply like this so you can see a simple layer a smoke structure has been formed so you can see this so this is very simple and very easy technique that you can define to kind of create a smoky vector effects in your, by using adobe illustrator thank you so much for watching i will come back to you in other tutorials subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye, -bye.